But we begin here at 6 with tragic breaking news from Detroit's left side. A DTE worker is dead after coming in contact with a down wire, and we are now hearing from DTE. Mara McDonald live with what we know as we hit the 6 o'clock hour. Mara. Devin, we have new information for you tonight. We are live here along Braille Street. This is where everything has really been the epicenter this afternoon. DTE is still out here trying to piece together exactly what happened at this home you see behind me. What we do know is this, there had been power problems in this area since around 11 o'clock today, including at one single home here on Braille. So DTE sends an experienced lineman. I mean, somebody who has been on the job for decades out here. What neighbors are telling us is that he was trying to restore power to the home in the rain. The next thing they know, he's on the ground. Now, Detroit Fire is telling us that when they got out here, they found that lineman on the ground with a power line in his hands. Uh, firefighters worked on him. It it just was hopeless at that point. He was deceased. He was transported to a local hospital. Now, officially from DTE tonight, they are saying this. He was dedicated to doing his best to serve our customers, and to us, he was a hero. We're in the process of informing his family and colleagues and are asking for time and respect to make these notifications. Our 10,000 employees are grieving right now. We send our love and support to his family and loved ones. Um, and I can tell you, Devin and Kimberly, just from the multitude of DTE members who have been here on the street, uh, they tell us that this was a really well-loved colleague who had been on the job for a very long time. We're live on Detroit's West Side in the Brightmore neighborhood. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.